catfish, dogfish, frogfish and bluefish. The fish family has around 32,000 members and is the most diverse group of vertebrates on the planet. The animals we call fish come in endless combinations of shapes and sizes. But how do we know for sure what makes a fish a fish? Let's start by looking at the one thing that all fish have in common. Whether they're found in rivers, lakes or the ocean, they are all at home in water. But not everything that lives in water is a fish. What about the starfish? Its name would suggest that it's a fish, but what do you think? Let's take a look at the defining features of a fish and find out. The biggest challenge to a life underwater is how to get oxygen from the environment. How does a fish do this? Well, all fish have gills, thread-like structures that allow them to filter dissolved oxygen from passing water. The starfish has a complicated hydraulic system in its feet which it uses to breathe and so we can assume that they are not fish at all. All fish need fins to help them move freely and precisely through the water. They come in a variety of forms. Take the seahorse for example. It doesn't look like your average fish, but in fact it is. It has fins on its back and the sides of its head and while it doesn't use them for speed, they are useful for navigating through their thick seaweed habitat. But swimming requires a strong backbone, and that's the final defining feature of the fishes. They all have vertebrae, which provide support and allow free movement through the water. So what makes a fish a fish? Let's make a list. Number one, they all live in water. Number two, they all have gills to filter oxygen from their aquatic environment. Number three, they all have fins to help them move precisely through the water. And number four, they all have bony vertebrae for support and movement. So the next time you find yourself wondering if the creature you're looking at is a fish, just remember these four key features of what makes a fish a fish.